You know you're ready to retire when you drive these vehicles. So if you wonder where I'm at, I'm in down the basement. I got some grow lights going, as you can see. That's my arrow garden. Uh, I have a white trash arrow garden. I don't have it out and operating yet, but I, I do have a white trash where I create my own. It works great. Just all you need is a freaking grow light. You need a pump. You need a timer. That's it. And then and we got some tomatoes. We got some snap peas. I uh, can't remember what that is off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> what the hell is that? Snap peas, tomatoes, I forgot. Anyway, I, 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 I have it written down, I just can't remember. See that right there? Nitrogen deficiency, nitrogen deficiency right there. So we gotta add some nitrogen there. And you can see these guys are in these little pod kind of things, I'll show you. And yeah, see the, see how they got the, the stems coming out? Yeah, so that's good, so I just keep these on yeah, probably 12 hours a day, I water them, and it, it's it's getting cold. Uh, it's cold in the morning, so I'm not putting these in the ground yet. I wish I would have had these in the ground already, but it's too cold to kill them. So I'll put these in the ground uh, probably this weekend, and uh, we'll just go with it. And this will be my first batch in my spring harvest, essentially, and then uh, I'll put some more in. Got a, a heated uh, pad right there, um, and then I'll get my white trash uh, arrow garden to grow some, start some more seeds for uh, tomatoes um and other things as well all right anyway so i've uh i've literally been for the oh yeah and i got this little fan right here all right that's i like to have that fan on to get the uh i like to get some fresh air in here too if you know what i'm saying it's a little bit too hot all right so i mean i guys it's i've been doing this financial planning for a long time a long i know i look like i'm 22 years old i get it i get it man i look like i'm a spring chicken but i'm not and I'm telling you, I must have five straight people I was working with this week. <laughs> it's all the same flipping story, man. What kind of car is you driving? 2009 Honda Ridgeline this guy had. He just finally traded in this year for a new Ford F-150. What kind of car are you driving? 2007 friggin' Chevy Malibu or something. 2008 Toyota Camry. You know, the 2008 VW Jetta diesel, it's all the same stuff. I drive for 10 years, I trade them, and I pay cash. Drive for 10 years, I trade them, and I pay cash. I, if there's one fundamental question about if your ability to retire, it's what kind of car do you drive? It's just that simple. It's weird, man. I, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's like, it's like we got people, I don't want to say too much, but run around here that have these fancy schmancy good time rock and roll vehicles i'm like man how much those freaking things cost man like i just i literally don't understand it because like the point of a vehicle is to take you from the point a point to, to point b safely that's it that's all vehicles point that's all it's supposed to do point a to point b it's not supposed to do anything more than if it if it gives you some music to listen to some heated seats which i have which is pretty sweet you know, some air conditioning, that's great. That's a luxury. But a, a, the job of a car is to get you from point A to point B. If you're inside a Mercedes Benz, which I've never been, I'll grant you. So maybe I was in one when my, uh, my best friend in high school, his mom had an older, like uh, one of those old diesel Mercedes from like 1970s or something like that. But it's only every time I've been in Mercedes Benz I'm aware of. But I mean, let's just say in a fancy schmancy car. Who cares? You're still sitting in a seat like this. You know what I'm saying? You're still not comfortable. You still got to stop at all the stoplights. You still got to wait for cops to freaking pull you over and all that stuff. I mean, you're not escaping the day-to-day -day ramifications of being on the road. Why spend a lot of money on a vehicle? I don't understand it. And if you're doing it, it's fine. It's fine. If you're doing it, you can financially afford it. It's fine. If you're doing it, though, and you, you're heavy in debt and you can't financially afford it, uh, you know, I don't, I don't get it. I like why, especially because I mean, no one cares that you're driving around a BMW. I, I maybe people do. And I'm not here to bash you. I'm just like, no one sits there. Wow, man, that guy's driving a Beamer. He's made it. Look at me, my 2008 Toyota Camry. I'm a loser. No one thinks like that. At least no one that we care about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just. Uh, look, if you got a nice car, I'm not bashing you. I remember my man Dana up in Maine. <laughs> So Chloe and I went uh, went to up to Maine to go check out some schools and whatnot, and uh, Dana and his better half, uh, April um, and Lacey the dog, um, they took us out with Dana's brother fishing, 
and uh, they picked us up, and Dana had his fancy schmancy good time rock and roll Lexus. It's like, damn, Dana, you don't watch my videos. He goes, oh, no, 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 don't put that on me, Josh. I, uh, we, we drove down to, I think he said Arkansas to get this for like 9,000 bucks. It's like a 2009 fully, you know, ditched out Lexus that he drove down to Arkansas to get for like 9,000 bucks. I said, ah, and it was a sweet vehicle, man. I'm not going to, you had never known that's a 2009. I said, all right, I got you. I got you. So again, if you're driving a fancy, fancy, good time rock roll car, don't take a chagrin, a chagrin uh, fence at this ombridge, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not bashing you. But if you're doing it and, you, and you're having a hard time making ends meet for retirement, um, that's your number one priority. Get rid of the frigging car or pay it off and just keep driving. But don't flip, and flip cars every couple of years. It's insanity, dude. I mean, literally, it's the same old story all the time. I, I, every single, it's crazy. Anyways, just please watch your car spinning, please. And then grow some food. And I got to put some, like I said, some nitrogen in there to get that going a little bit. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.